Hello, hi, how's it? Hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we're playing a bit of catch up. The past couple weeks have been a bit of a nightmare. I've spent between 8 and 13 hours in the lab every day trying to complete the current project, and hopefully, it's hinging pretty much on one thing right now, and with any luck, that'll get done in the next couple days. Then we could start getting back on track around here. Like I said, hopefully. Suffice to say, I have not been in the best condition for recording. Especially because Sunday night, when I stayed in the lab until 12.30am, I borrowed a bike to take home and promptly flung myself over the handlebars and down some concrete steps. Fortunately, prevented my face from slamming into stone. And I won't put the pictures here because not everyone wants to see that, but if you do want to see the results, head over to my Twitter. Also cracked the screen on my laptop, it still works fine, but it's a real shame because it's been going strong for five years now without any serious accidents. This is just a sign that I finally need to go and buy a new computer. Anyway, what are we here for? Movie Magic, the second Equestria Girl special. Based on the titles, I'm pretty sure the spoiler I know relates to the next episode, and I have no clue what happens here. The concept of film in this universe is pretty cool. Technology in general, they don't have much of in Equestria, and I think that's one of the best things that Equestria Girls can leverage over the other series, giving us stories that would not be possible with their equine counterparts. The last episode was fine, I expect this one to follow suit, so... Lights? Camera? Action. Alright. Lightning! Volcano! TVY! <laughs> Is that... Caballero? I have all three relics. No one will be able to stop me. Seems like a nice guy. For, for I am Starboard Stallion! Oh, uh, no. Nah, oh, cut! Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. In the story, Stalwart Stallion would be known as Mojo. All right. What? <laughs> you think he wants Daring Do fans to call him out for making a mistake? Oh, it is Daring Do. All right. Let's go again. And this time say Mojo instead of Stalwart Stallion. Okay? And they've got Spielberg with them. And action! No. Uh -oh. It is I, Mojo Jojo. Daring Do will have nothing. No chance against Mojo. Yeah, and this nice little intro. It doesn't beat around the bush or sing me songs. Best part of the series so far, this intro. All right, yeah, this is gonna be, I guess, I can't all daring do. Thank you so much for letting us come, Mr. Zoom. We promise we <laughs> No problem, Twilight. Again. <laughs> As a fellow Camp Ever Free alum, I was more than happy to afford the girls who helped save it yeah. the to visit the set of our little film. Yeah, he was in the cave party in the last one. Little? Or the this movie. This daring do we're talking about. This movie is gonna be huge. It's gonna open to a hundred million! Daring do is supposed to wear in the nightclub scene. If we're ever able to finish it, it will be. If you'll excuse me. They're making an Indiana Jones 5, aren't they? According to our visitor schedules, they won't start shooting the next scene for a while. Which means This is just a sneak peek. My picture taken with Chester Magnifico! The actress playing Daring Do! And that's right. sign my petition to bring more bird feeders to Canterlot High. Rarity is going to check out. Rico Suave. Chestnut Magnifico is an avid supporter of a foundation that helps build homes for animals in need. Fluttershy is gonna oh, okay. but I go tweeting. Can... Check out all the sets. I'd sure like to get a closer look at that volcano. Actually, I thought we'd... Yeah. And the cupcake fountain! Volcano diving. I don't know what a cupcake fountain is, but I'm pretty sure they don't have one. That sounds pretty good. I do. I read it in my 100 Things You Didn't Know About This Movie Studio Insider. Tour guide. Oh. Is the number one thing we didn't know that the guy who founded the studio was an eccentric oddball with a sweet tooth? No, that's number 18, actually. Yes! I guess we're splitting up? <gasps> like, 
Zoinks! I don't suppose you want to check out the props that AK Yearling designed specially for the movie? You read my mind. Alright, gang, we're splitting up. AK Yearling, that's. Maybe Daring do. I wonder if she's actually. I guess she would actually be, like, out adventuring in real life in this oh, one, too. Ah, I don't care if I'm under contract! This is a joke! And I want this thing shut down! Do you hear me? <laughs> I want. A double size trailer. For a split second, I thought they were not gonna show her face like Miss Bellum or something. Several weeks, I bet. They sure do go all out making it look like the real deal, huh? Yeah. Oh, I thought she stepped in a uh, something different. The rainforest is known for its Bon Mott peanut butter praline crunch bars. Oh, those are native. Wouldn't want it ruining the shot. The girl in the bushes. Let me just tuck it in here. All right, kids, don't litter. Ouch. These are the three Altoriosa relics. The staff, the sword. Don't forget and the my axe. Altoriosa. You're from Canterlot High, right? Uh huh. I'm Jennifer Montage, Cantor, the director's niece. Really? What do you think. No, I, no, really, what's your actual name? Hands on when it comes to the sets and props for the movie. Have you met her? Just once when she came to it's check weird. Relics. I did get her to sign a copy of the latest Daring Do book, though. Like, when they're ponies, so, that name would make here. sense, I guess. My uncle coffee and help get everything ready for shooting. I've been on the set for all the movies he shot here. Pretty much know every inch of this place like the back of my hand. <laughs> I tried to convince him to catch me as Daring Do, but he really didn't go for that. That was a good hey, have you guys seen the set for Cabalera laugh. Superior? I like that a lot. <gasps> they usually lock the door to that set, but I've got keys that open just about every door in this place. Miss <gasps> Montage is angry that she didn't get to be Daring Do. <sighs> Three lunch buffets, six different kinds of fondue. Is Rainbow going to be <laughs> playing Daring Do by the end of this? Oh, well. At least we found those peanut butter praline crunch bars. They weren't in my guidebook, but they sure were delicious. They grow all over the place. I'll see. You think they got any more? We got praline out the butt. One more month, Chestnut. That's all we need. I'm doing everything I can to keep us on schedule. Uh, one month of retirement. I don't think we can do it. If you could just agree to stay on for one more month. Unacceptable. But unacceptable. Peanut butter praline crunch bars. Now oh no. Would probably be a good time to resume the search for that cupcake fountain. <laughs> Well, looks like I'm gonna go hit the old dusty trail. You guys should have seen the relics. They were amazing! Ah, quite <laughs> upset, please! I want to just watch the movie and hear Rainbow. One more peek at the fangasming in the background. All right. From my perspective, oh no. Well, half what volcano. Here? We just filmed on this volcano and it was fine. This could set us back weeks. <laughs> They're gone! Movies They're take gone. artistic liberties all the time. The relics! <laughs> take two. I wanted to check them out again up close and they weren't there. This can't be happening. What are we gonna do? Of all the Couldn't worst possible things. To make new ones? The missing relics were personally approved by AK Yearling. We could have new ones made, but we can't use them until she Ms. actually Yearling brought them stamp of approval. from her adventures. They were real. Reach someone who's always holed up in her office writing, but Miss Yearling is a very difficult woman to track down. It'll be okay. She totally though, is right? out Chestnut's there. Contract with us is almost up, and with Mount Behuvius collapsing, raiding tombs. I fear we'll have to stop production altogether. Uncharted ring. <laughs> this movie think of all the daring do fans will be so disappointed if you don't are you sure there's nothing you <laughs> it's, can like, it's like bronies on set of the new movie i'm so sorry please excuse me is this just an interpretation of events mm. on the hasbro was set with one of the costumes when we first arrived a set that was fine yesterday just collapsed and now the most important props in the movie have been stolen jinkies I don't think these are just coincidences me neither. All the things that have gone wrong on set have put production on hold. It seems to me like someone is going to a lot of trouble to make sure this movie doesn't get made. 
If only we knew a disgruntled you don't fan. No, 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 certainly not. Who wanted to play the main character? When Rarity and I followed Chestnut Magnifico to her trailer, we overheard her saying something about shutting down the movie. Yes, oh, and they're gonna think it's the Magnifico, I and know that she was talking about the movie. Maybe she's just really it's gonna be always running out of her imported montage crunch girl. Bars. Bon Mott? Butter Praline Crunch Bars? The girl that no, makes you think of Rocky we, uh, when you hear her name. Yourselves. <laughs> we found this on the Mount Vahuvia set right before it collapsed. It sure seems like all the signs are pointing to Chestnut Magnifico. It sounds like all the problems around here. Vahuvia sounds like just on, a pretentious way. It's like it, it actually in ancient Rome here. it was and pronounced Vahuvius. Then they must still be around here somewhere. Chestnut Magnifico is an acclaimed actress. She'd never do something so dramatic. Ah. An actress? Dramatic? Never. Well, she might do something like You should have let that joke just sit. Movie she didn't want to do. It was fine without the... Pinky, Spike, and I follow Chestnut Magnifico and see if we can find anything out. Let's do it! On the hunt. In the meantime, we should look for the relics. Where do we even start? It's not like there's some mysterious thieving cloak figure we can chase after and say, Hey, tell us where you're keeping the relics! Well, that'd be cool, though. You mean like... Oh. Queen? Speak of the devil. Hey, hey, stop right there! Criminal scum! In the name of love! Oh yeah, they can do that. Or she can. I forgot they have magic. Oh, the focus there made it look like that wasn't actually the trailer. It was like a, a picture in the background. My Geo gives me super speed, but I guess being awesomely fast doesn't help when the person you're chasing knows their way around better than you do. Who do we know who knows the set like the back of her hand? But we did find a I want to see that. Then we got lost and somehow ended up here. That would have what been more interesting. We spotted a super suspicious cloak figure, but they got away. <sighs> They're here somewhere. And there you are. It could Where be you. Oh, we gotta hurry. Points the rarity. Oh, gonna be so far if you aren't ready. The director wants to shoot in three minutes. Oh. Uh, I, no. I think there's been some kind of okay. Mistake. Sure. Wait, wait. Who are these girls? No, let them the let them play. Movies. Let him do it. I'm fired, aren't I? So fired. Aw. No. Oh, wow. Wow. There she is. Jeez. Sunset's looking nice. All right. The chase is on. All right. What do we have? Noir. Oh, down there. Ooh, look at that. New York. Fast and Furious. I mean, Rebo can run fast. Star date, 1629. Rainbow Dash has a magic rock that makes her the Flash. She could catch up. They see that. Ugh. What's this place supposed to be? Heaven. She go. She must be around here somewhere, wherever here is. Man, they have their legs are so long. Whoa, really? At least it wasn't minions. I've tried to get you all to watch it like a gazillion billion times! <laughs> they use real pudding! <laughs> you guys just won't believe me. Oh, they do! It's so good. Uh, that right seems unsanitary. Are supposed to be hunting down the missing relics and catching the bad guy? Why is there a bucket? Pudding. We're trying. Maybe Why is there a bucket of pudding? There might have been some clues we missed. Oh no! We're trapped. So that's why there's a bucket of pudding. All right. I saw you come in here. I'm gonna get you. You can't hide from Rainbow Dash. Fusro Da. All right. How could she ever stand up to a normal human being? She only has super speed. 
<laughs> it's a merman. Is this just... Hey, this is just like the outfit Daring Do wears in the nightclub scene. What's Ooh. it doing in here? Nightclub scene? I want to see the actual movie they're filming. That would be more fun, wouldn't it? Is this room just like the basement from Cabin in the Woods? Anybody out there? Every item is cursed in a unique way. No problem. I'll just call my friends and let them know. The helmet summons Vikings. I can't because security took all our phones when we got here. Ah. Help! Those darn NDAs. We have to find Rainbow Dash. I don't see how. She moved so fast she could be anywhere on the lot by now. Why she felt it or in the city. That gives her super speed to a or in the state. I'll never know. No, Gosh, the country. Fine. One touch and I'd be able to see Chestnut's memories and get to the bottom of this whole thing. I know how to find Rainbow Dash. That is a handy thing. I hope Pinky licks every footprint. Spike. Spike, don't eat it. Genius, Pinkie Pie. It'll poison you. Come on, this way. You don't have to tell me. For the road. Genius. Her hair could be a weapon if you store the right There's materials in there. Which means she must be here somewhere. Hello? Is anyone here? The proof is in the pudding. There's a joke there somewhere. I think she might be in here. Yes, help! I'm locked in! It's okay, Dad. Yes, you idiot, I'm in here. I'll go find somebody with a key. Wait. Oh, the Fluttershy. I've got the key. Why am I happy to see you? Oh. Okay. What well, alright. Well, I'm just gonna we're just gonna give you guys some room. Maybe we should all start wearing our geodes around. But you have your privacy. And our new magic might come in handy. How did you find me? I gave a banging on the door five minutes ago. Pudding never lies. Hey, is that, that is a true fact. That was one of the hundred facts yeah. on, on the sheet we about this set. Who locked me in and there's still no sign of the relics. Huh. I'll say we head back to the scene of the crime. Oh, it's cool they got there's power ponies that could lead us to the relics. reference in here. Or we could let the culprit lead us to them. Ow! I just told you I didn't see who locked me in here. I do like Sunset as the maniac. Who our thief is, but we're gonna need Cantor Zoom's help to catch her. It's pretty nice. Cantor Zoom. Oh God. You found this in a supply closet? We didn't find the relics, but we don't think the thief has had a chance to take them off the lot yet. Magnifico. We have permission to search the Tricorners village set from. She's to too top. real. Maybe we'll find a clue that would lead us to where they're hidden. Like of blonde course. with pink highlights Just and I, tan I need skin. You to the hair and makeup. As soon as we get the relics, we're gonna start shooting again. <laughs> It's too realistic for me for the series. Like Jennifer, he at least has green hair. Run? I'm sure all this sleuthing is gonna make everyone thirsty. Absolutely. Absolutely. Neighborino. All right. I told you all it wasn't chestnut. You didn't know anything, Rarity. <gasps> Look, I found the missing relics. Because you're the one who stole. That them. was she. She wouldn't. Pretty anticlimactic. She did. What she didn't expect was for Rainbow Dash to come to the Tri Corner set before she was able to sneak them off to a safer hiding place. You'll never catch me alive. So she was forced to hide them in the first place she could find. Start swinging the sword. I will cleave you in two. <gasps> They're gone. <gasps> what happened? Someone stole she the booty. She leave them there. So the first chance she got, she tried to sneak them away. Speaking of booty. Fortunately for her, we spotted her. But Juniper knows everything. Because she has like the back of her no head. awareness and of her surroundings. Like lose Rainbow Dash. But while, she can throw nets like a professional Rainbow fisherman. Dash to figure out where she'd run off to, she locked her in a closet with a set of keys that gives her access to just about every door in this place. Which gave her the time she needed to hide the relics here. It's like it was foreshadowed. When did you figure out it was her? I started to piece things together when I unlocked like, the door. Like literally, to get her out of the, the moment closet. she was introduced. But I knew Juniper would never admit she was the one who had taken the relics. Unless, of course, she was caught in the act of trying to move them again. Unless Which we had a montage of her, her on that smoothie run. sneaking around. 
so she'd think she'd had the opportunity to get the relics off the lot. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. Them. But instead, we totally Sir follow. Tri Corner said you all were secretly following me here. Why would you do this? I'm sorry, okay? So it's like, I'm just gonna hang out me. back here. She's always eating all the peanut butter praline crunch bars, which are the only candy bars I like. Are you serious? There's I'm just gonna. A reason to go. I was I'm just gonna walk away now. Daring do. I mean, I have told you over and over again how badly I wanted to play Daring Do, and you just ignored me. Boo hoo. Uh, Juniper, you're too young. You don't have. You don't any know me, Dad. I know, but I thought if enough things went wrong, Chestnut would maybe back out of the movie, and then you would give me a chance. Not Actresses go through a lot of crap sometimes and stay on. Have you heard of you Kubrick? You lied to me and took advantage of my trust! You lied to me! And I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt anyone, and I was going to return all the props just as soon as Chestnut quit. I hope you Then we would have hired me. another actress who's actually a professional. Yes, Juniper, so of course I can forgive you. But I'm sorry. But I say never no forget. I'll come on the set, and it will be a long time before I consider allowing you back here. Well, this guy. Kick her out. Throw it to the curb. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for those meddling kids Peter, and are. their dog. So sorry I'm not in makeup, but I've just gotten a call from my agent. I no longer cool. have to work on that ridiculous documentary about nests next month. <laughs> I swear, what? when they approached me, I thought they wanted to do a documentary about my organization for homeless animals. <laughs> Not on various nests around the world. Oh, <laughs> I guess missing. she is but okay. No matter, that's all behind us. Does this mean... I don't know no more what her deal is. I can extend my contract and continue filming Daring Do. Hey, don't touch the schnoz. The missing relics. Yes. And Why are you asking we'll me? about them disappearing again. Why are you it's looking at me? Thanks to our visitors from Canterlot High. First you saved Camp Everfree, now the Daring Do movie. Y'all are certainly on a roll. It's like you're the only competent people in this town. Don't suppose you've got any extra parts my friends and I could play? You know, <laughs> as a reward for saving the day. Yeah, you could be the trees. I think we could figure something out. Oh, please be a ridiculous, like, three-part horse costume or something. So look at all that makeup on Daring Do. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, you know, juggling dogs, as you do. You will give me the soul of Altoriosa. I don't think so, stalwart. Have it your A plus. I see they pulled out all the stops for this movie. Give up, daring to the sword shall Those are some good effects though. Considering <laughs> Oh my god, is Rainbow short round? So awesome! Cut! <laughs> Again? <laughs> Makes sense. Rainbow would ruin sets. I that's that's the most believable thing about this episode. Wow, who would have guessed? Juniper Montage was the bad guy all along. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm so taken aback, I am lost for words. That was a thing. Oh, well, we got some cool costumes, I guess. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Movie Magic, the second Equestria Girl special, and it was the most existing piece of Equestria Girls content I have ever seen. It did such a good job at existing it will win the honorary award at the Emmys for being there. I have so little to say about this, both as a product of me being exhausted and this episode just coming and going like a feather on the wind. We were shown the villain 
and then we knew she was the villain, and then we found out she was the villain. And much like the world, the conflict ended not with a bang, but with a whimper. It was a mystery episode, so it brought to mind mystery on the Friendship Express, which, while that wasn't a phenomenal episode, it was still more lively. And of course, with the group of young adults and their dog, the Scooby-Doo parallels were there. But that just kind of made me want to watch Castlemania. I'm sad we didn't get to see the actual Daring Do, maybe in the future. But the nod to Power Ponies was pretty cool, I liked those costumes. And we did get to see some of the powers being used again. On the whole, this just felt pretty flat to me. Things just kind of happened. There wasn't a lot of character development, and not much of consequence occurred. Unless they bring Juniper Montage back. That look she gave at the end made it seem like she might want revenge. And while this wasn't the best introduction she could have gotten, it was at least something. Also, they really should not just leave a set around covered in pudding. That's a really unprofessional studio. Can't even get enough peanut butter praline crunch bars. What kind of cheapskate operation is this? Wait, is this an Uwe Boll movie? Is that director actually just making this for tax breaks? Guys, I think I've cracked the case. I gotta go make a phone call. What am I doing? Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, remember, you too can save the planet one plastic wrapper at a time. God, who writes these lines?